Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Yo Yo Man with Barnsley. In today's episode we are going to face Sheffield United and West Ham in the hopes of finding some Premier League victories from somewhere. Let's take a look at the fixtures that you've missed since the last time we met. So you know we're riding high, we've just beat Southampton in our first ever Premier League game. You come up against Manchester City full of confidence and then you get smashed 5-1. <laughs> they went 5-0 up. Pretty early on, uh, 54 minutes it took for uh, Man City to go 5-0. Jose Jimenez, Sergio Aguero, Aguero, Raheem Sterling and Bernardo Silva getting the goals for them. Lewis Montanao got himself a 91st minute goal just as a little bit of a consolation and just to remind Man City that we were playing. But yeah, it was uh, a crash bang and a wallop down in this game. We bounced back though with our second victory in the league this season, this time against Leicester City at home. Munter now had put us in front 16 minutes in, Wilfred Ndidi equalised for Leicester, but Arjen van der Heer the penalty in the 65th minute gave us the win. We then faced Norwich in the League Cup second round. We played a heavily rotated side, which wasn't a good idea considering Norwich are also in the Premier League, and we ended up getting beat. Malik's, Malik Wilkes had put us in front 62nd minute, but Adam Ida and Todd Cantwell scored three goals in five minutes and crushed our hopes and dreams. Defeat brings on defeat. Alex Oxley and Chamberlain put Wolves in front 82 minutes in. Raul Jimenez doubled that lead in the 90th minute. And then Abel Ruiz scored in the 91st and the 92nd minute. And I thought, we've we've drafted a point out of this. I have no idea how it's happened, but I couldn't be happier. And then Jesse Lingard scored in the 95th minute to give Wolves the win. Absolutely the most devastating game I've played, without a shadow of a doubt. <laughs> and then and then we went away from home against Liverpool. And you know how we like took them to penalties in the League Cup semi-finals when we were a championship club? Yeah, those days are well and truly gone. They smashed us 5-1. Benton Co, Naby Keita, Shakiri with a brace, Sadio Mane. They even missed a penalty just to make things worse. Lewis Montano had equalised 31 minutes in, but... Um, our boys got well and truly outclassed. We stopped the rot against Bournemouth away from home. Nathan Ake put them in front 22 minutes in, but Nicholas Capaldo scored in the 52nd minute to equalise, and we got a well-needed point. A weird draw follows a weird draw, this time away from home against Newcastle United. We drew 0-0. Nothing particularly interesting against this game. We defended quite well. Neither side really dominated the match, and a point apiece was well worth the money. In terms of the league, then, where do we sit? We currently sit in 14th position, which isn't too bad. Five points clear from West Ham in 18th. We want to keep that gap as big as possible. I'll just remind you, we are only expected to fight bravely against relegation. In other words, you're going to get relegated. Just try not make it humiliating. Um, we are five points clear of that drop zone, and we need to try and keep it that way today. We face Sheffield United in the first game. They are level on points with us, currently sitting in 13th. And then West Ham after that who sit in 18th. So if there's any two games we are going to win, it needs to be these two. I would love to be able to pick and drop players based on form. But our strongest first 11 remains our strongest first 11. And we have to stick it out with them and hope that they can start improving their average ratings. And improving their performances. The only change to what you would be usually seeing is Abel Ruiz. I've now decided is our starting left winger. Espinosa done absolutely nothing in the games he did play. So um, he's out. Abel Ruiz is in. So of course Sheffield United are a club we are intimately familiar with. A lot of the same sort of players who would who we were managing not so long ago still at the club. Um, but hopefully we can do a bit of business against them today and get an away win. Which is obviously going to be incredibly, incredibly difficult in the Premier League. First highlight of the game comes five minutes in. We are in possession but in a dangerous area that I don't particularly care for. But it looks like we've played our way out of trouble as Tony Herrero finds Montano on this left-hand side. He whips the ball in. Ian van der Heerde can't get to it, but Gorossa Bell can. And he's just nearly hit the corn flag. Another highlight now. Ender Stevens coming down the left-hand side. How many times have we said that this year? As Sheffield United come close. Uzo Hall with an easy save in the end. Corners whipped in by van der Heerde. Comes out to Capaldo, who drives past his man. Whips it back post. Abel Ruiz is there. And our boy from Barcelona gets his third goal of the season from that left-hand side. Maybe he is the answer to our prayers. Hopefully he might be. 
Capaldo does well here to pick up the ball after the corner. He drives past his man with relative ease and plays the ball in back post. Ruiz completely unmarked. We go 1-0 up 10 minutes in. Another highlight now and we are in possession again as Fosto Vera plays the ball over the top. Montanu is in behind and we are 2-0 up boys. We are rocking his fourth goal of the season. He's one of the players who's doing it very, very well despite our poor runner form. And that's absolutely... I don't care if it's Route 1 football. I honestly don't. The club vision might be to play entertaining football, but to me, entertaining football is getting wins. And Montano, with a tidy, tidy finish. Remember, this boy is only 19 years old. If he can be the one leading the line for us, we are doing pretty well. Another highlight now is Sheffield United on the attack this time, coming in off the left-hand side. The ball's whipped in. It's all over the place in the six-yard box. I have no idea what's just happened, and I don't really care as long as we get rid of it. Abel Ruiz picks up the ball back out to Fosto Vera, who's on the edge of the box, plays it to Garissa Bell. He goes for goal Lecomte with a, a dodgy save, let's be quite frank. Um, but we do end up getting a corner out of it as Vera is there to take it. It's cleared by Rodon and that's probably going to be that. Corner for Sheffield United, Oliver Norwood's there to take it. It's played in, we clear it off the line just about and Tisserand boots the ball to the stands. Another highlight now, it's a corner for us this time. Fosto Vera is there to take it. It's played in at the front post. Abel Ruiz goes close with a header. And that is our best performance in a first half this season by a country mile. We have played very, very well. We've limited Sheffield United to only a couple of chances. We've created a good few ourselves and taken two of them. Hopefully, the same from the boys from the second half. But I am a little bit concerned that Sheffield United might end up getting back into it. They pick up the ball with Lundstram in the centre. Norwood switches the play to Zeki Selic on the right-hand side. Rodon plays the ball forward to Pedro Neto. It's back out of the right-hand side for Selic. The ball's played in. Ender Stevens can't get his head to it. And Ian van der Heerde can maybe counter for us down this right-hand side. He cuts in. He goes for goal. And that is dreadful. <laughs> He's improving massively, by the way, van der Heerde. With the um, improved opposition, his training is going really, really well. And I'll, I'll, if I remember, I'll show you his attributes going up. As Garissa Bell picks up the ball in the centre circle. He goes for goal himself at right back. I mean, he is. I do have this specific player instruction on our right back to shoot less often. Doesn't He doesn't listen. Injury to Nicolas Capaldo, one of our best players, hopefully. It's nothing to get too concerned about. We'll bring on Alex Moat for a rare appearance for us uh, in the centre of midfield. Hopefully he can hold it down and hold his own in the Premier League. Another highlight now, Van der Heerde with the ball on the right-hand side. He whipped in for Abel Ruiz, and this man might be a god. Abel Ruiz gets his fourth goal of the season, and an assist from Andoni Garesabella, we're right back, and we are 3-0 up against Premier League opposition. I did not think I would be saying that this episode. What a fantastic ball that is. Abel Ruiz with all sorts of work to do to actually get that in at the back of the net. Buddy does it, another header. 3-0, not 4, I wish it was 4 Abel Ruiz now on a hat-trick. Can he get it? And with only 10 minutes to go, I am comfortable enough to, now at this point to be able to take players off. Ian van der Heerde is going to come off. We'll bring on Matthias Espinosa on the right-hand side. He can play as an inverted winger. And we'll bring off Garissa Bell for Jordan Williams um, at right-back. Both of them have had decent games. Taking them off just to save the legs, really. And time is ticking away. It is going to end. Sheffield United nil, Barnsley 3 by far the best performance of the season by our boys. Absolutely fantastic. We've got West Ham next at home. Hopefully we can get another three points. I will see you there. A bit of bad news. And this might highlight the weaknesses in our squad. Our starting central midfielder Nicolas Capaldo is injured for five weeks. So we're going to have to be playing Alex Moat in the centre of midfield. Which isn't ideal. Uh, Moat's not really a Premier League level player. But hopefully it doesn't bite us in the bum too much. So we're here for the game against West Ham. Unfortunately for us, we've got some injury concerns. Van der Heerde is out for eight days, so he misses today's game. Malik Wilkes is still returned from injury, so he can't start today's game. So we are having to start Bruno Costa on the right-hand side, which means we can't drop Gonzalo Ramos, despite these poor conditioning. Um, and the internationals, are again, are the bane of my existence. But this is going to be the lineup for today's game. Azu, Ho, Ingol, Garisabel at right back, Franco and Tisserand in the centre with Tony Herrero at left back. Bissoli comes in as our defensive midfielder uh, for the injured Nicolas Capaldo as Fosto Vera has been pushed further forward. Bruno Costa on the right hand side, as we've said before. Gonzalo Ramos, Ab Abel Ruiz, and Luis Montano playing up top on East Todd 
against West Ham. And West Ham have a pretty similar setup to what they did in the Championship. It's basically the exact same side. Um, they were obviously one of the clubs that got promoted and they didn't really need to win Vest. They already had a team that was capable of competing in the Premier League. But they currently find themselves in the bottom three. So let's make it worse for them, shall we? First highlight of the game comes eight minutes in and what I'm presuming is a rainy day in uh, Barnsley. As Montenegro gets in behind, <laughs> it's a dreadful, dreadful finish. It was great first touch to bring it out of his feet um, and a lovely little throw ball as well, but he couldn't take advantage of it. Corner from Bruno Costas played in and Marcel Tisserand is there at the front post to get his first goal of the season. A nice little set-piece goal. We saw that plenty of times last season in the Championship. Costa to Tisserand, simple as you like. 1-0 up. And there is a highlight straight from kickoff, which I don't like, as Yarmolenko finds Escalo on this uh, right-hand side. He beats his man. He is going to be Tony Herrero as well. The ball's whipped in. Luis Diaz to Laxalt. And our lead lasted all of about 30 seconds as Diego Laxalt gets his first goal of the season. An assist from Luis Diaz on that left-hand side. And just really, really poor play from Bissoli, from Tony Herrero. And then the ball's whipped in. The keeper's diving for it before the block comes in. And that leaves an open net for Laxalt and West Ham equalise. Corner. Bruno Costa whips it in from post again. But this time it's cleared by Declan Rice. But Abel Ruiz can keep the ball alive. It's whipped into the back post. Bruno Costa's there. He hasn't got the heading ability, has he? Seferovic now for West Ham. Gets, oh, I thought he was dispossessed by Ramos there. But he finds Escaio on this uh, left-hand side for West Ham this time. We are pushing them back, though. They're not uh, finding spaces in behind our defence just yet. But maybe it'll come this time with Luis Diaz cutting inside. Find Declan Rice, Pablo Fonals. Some great player by West Ham to keep the ball here. Laxalt the Yarmolenko at the back post. And that probably deserved a goal. We've decided to lower the tempo a little bit to try and keep possession a little bit more. As now has a perfect opportunity to post 2-1 up. But Fabianski claims it before he can get his strike away. And now it's going to be a West Ham attack with Declan Rice. Finding four nails to Seferovic, who hasn't got very many options going forward. They are definitely uh, more of a slow build-up uh, player kind of team. Laxal tries to get the ball in. We get the block and Bruno Costa can clear. The ball finds its way to Montenegro in the box. He's got such a stupid angle, yet he still goes for goal. And again, another good opportunity for a scores begging and it remains at 1-1. Highlight now, only eight minutes to go in this first half. It has been pretty highlight packed. And West Ham have definitely come into the game more and more. But Bissoli doing his defensive duties and winning the ball and driving down that right-hand side, flicking it back to Grasabel. Abel Ruiz was at the back post, but he couldn't quite get on the end of it. He whips the ball in himself. And Lewis Montano gets his fifth goal of the season. An assist by Abel Ruiz. There were two main men in attack combined. And we get ourselves in front before half-time. The ball initially was just a bit too long for Abel Ruiz. But he wins the ball. Excellent cross back in. And Montano. Montano. How do you say his name? I have got no idea. <laughs> Never mind. Barnsley 2. West Ham 1. We oh, Still four minutes to go in the half time. But the highlight might end up being good for us. As we're played in behind. Fabianski saves initially. And we hit the post. And we should be 3-1 up. We should be 5-1 up. But there we have it for the first half. Barnsley 2, West Ham 1. A pretty even game uh, if you're watching the match highlights. Match stats are definitely in our favour though. So hopefully that uh, is a sign of things to come and we dominate the second half. Fosto Vera on this right hand side picks the ball from Garesabel on a throw in. The ball's played into Dimitri Basoli in the box. And that is a finish that no goalkeeper is saving in a million years. His first goal of the season, one of his first starts of the season apart from cup games. And he has proved maybe he should be in the starting eleven. He's definitely going to get some game time whilst our main central midfielder is out. But that is a banging finish. And with that goal giving us a comfortable two-goal advantage, we are going to get Gonzalo Ramos off for uh, Matthias Espinosa. will put um, Bruno Costa in the attacking midfield centre role and put Espinosa on that right-hand side. 20 minutes to go. Our boys are looking fresh. We have got no worries, or do we? As West Ham come forward this time. Abel Ruiz with a decent challenge. But it comes back out to Issa Diop. Yarmolenko gets dispossessed by Tony Herrero. And now we can break with Lewis. Montano, come on son. Can you do it all? But not that angle. It's Chiriches with a penalty. That is absolutely fantastic news. Who is going to be the man who steps up? It's going to be Abel Ruiz who steps up to take this. Can he get his second goal of the game? He certainly can. And Barnsley go 4-1 up. 
in a Premier League game. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Two wins out of two will be just what the doctor doctor ordered, and we will take that to the bank. And I missed that goal. Is it offside? Is it in? Abel Ruiz, sixth goal of the season? I uh, I don't know. What's happening? Garessa Bell. I'll... <laughs> I'm sorry, lads. My phone keeps getting messages and I need to check it and I've missed a goal. Garessa Bell driving forward, plays the ball back post. Abel Ruiz is there once again with his sixth goal of the season. I think that takes him to our top scorer. It's only his second goal of the game. I thought he scored a hat-trick. Oh, well, never mind. Well, Whoever scores, I don't really care. Barnsley are 5-1 up right now. And now we're going to turn this on and make it 6-1. Tony Herrero down this left-hand side. He drives to the byline. He's going to get the cross in or is he going to go for goal? Oh my dears, Lewis Montano. What was that? <laughs> Absolutely dreadful stuff by our star striker. Never mind. You don't mind it happening when you're 5-1 up. Highlight now. West Ham coming forward with Chiriches on this right-hand side. Tony Herrera with a decent challenge in. And maybe we can break with Abel Ruiz. Or are we? What's happening? Don't lose the ball here. We don't want to concede again. Tony Herrera plays Montano. He's in behind once again. He's had these opportunities numerous times this game. And again, he can't manage to find the finish. And I didn't decide to commentate on that corner either. And we go 6-1 up. <laughs> Lewis Montano equalises, uh, equals Abel Ruiz's six goals of the season. It's a dreadful defensive display by West Ham. This absolutely awful. We will take it all dear though. Barnsley 6, West Ham 1. And there's another highlight. West Ham Johnny whips it in. Uzuho with an easy catch. And there is no West Ham even play even challenger for that. So I'm assuming... That wasn't the highlight. Is it going to be 7-1? Montano is in behind. Goes for goal. Fabianski with the save. Another highlight now. Abel Ruiz feeds Bruno Costa on this right-hand side who plays it in behind. Montano, how many chances do you need, mate? Score some go score more goals. I know you've scored twice, but you should have double hat-rig by now with the amount of opportunities you've had. Tony Herrero wins the ball in the middle of the park and goes down the left-hand side. He goes back to Basoli as he gets a bit crowded out by two West Ham players. And we knock it about quite nicely as it falls to Bruno Costa on the edge. Vera, he's got Garessa Bell on this right-hand side. It's a poor pass, really. Should be playing that a little bit further inside. Diop clears only as far as Tony Herrero. We've got men in the box. Espinosa's one of them. And Matthias Espinosa, our field's left wing and sign, and gets his first goal of the season. And we are beating West Ham 7-1. That is absolutely unbelievable scenes Jeff Tony Herrera to the back post Espinosa fantastic fantastic finish and 7-1 7-1 and we have our game of the season already even if they'd scored that I would not have cared one little bit 7-1 even against a newly promoted side even though we're at home that was absolutely sensational performance from the boys absolutely every single one of them had a great game and I'm off this, this season's already absolutely fantastic for me. Two wins in two. Ten goals in the last two games. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant stuff. And with them two wins, we see ourselves rise to eighth in the Premier League. We are now 11 points clear from Burnley, who currently occupy 18th position in the Prem. And avoiding relegation, hopefully it's going to become pretty easy to us. With them two wins, we've managed to get ourselves into a positive goal difference despite getting battered by Liverpool and Manchester City. And fun. Uh, that, this, this might be my favourite episode. Looking forward to the next episode then. I think we're going to come back for back-to-back -back home games this time against Arsenal, a much more tricky opposition than we've played today. And against newly promoted West Brom as well, where we will be hoping for another win. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.